welcome to my channel, my name is Kiki and it is time to make crafting fun! DIY number one and we're gonna make a village that I found at the sign bundles in the description box below, I will leave you the link. Now what I'm gonna do is I cut it on my Cricut, but this one you can cut with your scissors, it's awesome! So go and check it out, I'm just folding it and then I'm gonna add a little bit hot of hot glue <laughs> so I can assemble it. And it's pretty easy because it comes with all the lines, even if you're using your scissors to cut them. So it is awesome. <laughs> and now what I'm doing is just assembling the roof of our beautiful house. And you will see me make one of them, but I'm making six. <laughs> so I wanted to show you this one. Now I'm going to use this caulk. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the tip really small like that. And then I'm going to start applying it to my roof. So it looks like a little bit of snow, just like this. And I'm just playing around with it so I can get it to look like a beautiful snowy roof. <laughs> and look at that, it's looking so cute. You can print this out on the brown craft paper and they will look beautiful like gingerbread houses. Now I'm going to do a little bit of something something here, you know me, I'm extra. <laughs> so I had needed to add a little bit more on that roof and I'm going to repeat the same pattern on the other side like this and we will have a beautiful house for our village. Look at that, so cute. Now let's move on to the trees and I'm going to take this trees and I'm going to add a little start on the top to cover the hole and then I'm going to add a little bit of caulk on the sides like this to make this, them snowy. <laughs> and here you can see all of them together and they are looking so beautiful. I'm in love with that village. I think I'm going to make a couple of them <laughs> because I'm just loving them. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this ones and remember you will find the link in the description box so you can find it too. And this is part of the Christmas in July around the world hop hosted by the beautiful and talented ladies of Teco Easy, Diane and Gianni. In the description box down below you're gonna find the link to the next creator so you can go and check them out and also their links so you can check them out. I know you're gonna love them. Now for DIY number two and we're gonna make candles, yeah, with this. <laughs> two pieces of dowels and two handles from stir sticks. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand those sides, both of them. And I'm also gonna sand the bottom part of the handle that I cut it previously. <laughs> and then after that I'm gonna take my Dremel or tool <laughs> and I'm gonna make a hole in the top of my dowel like this. I'm just drilling a hole like that so I can get a wick a little bit later. Now I'm repeating the same steps on the other dowel and then we're going to move on to making our candles and for that I'm using hot glue to create the drips, those wax drips <laughs> and I'm just using hot glue and I'm going to pile it up on top of each other and as you can see I'm just playing around with them so I get the drips that I want and I'm just adding a little bit more here and there, adding more just to make it like it has a couple of layers of dripping or we just lit our candles a couple of times. Now I'm adding a little bit of that hot glue in the top to make it look like a burnt candle and like that I'm gonna keep on adding until I have reached the shape that I want and I'm gonna repeat the same to the other one like that. Then I'm gonna take my candles when they are dry, I'm adding a little bit of extra touches because I told you I'm extra. <laughs> so I'm adding a little bit more, let that dry and then I'm gonna come back with cashew from Waverly and I'm gonna paint them completely with that cashew chalk paint. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a good coat like this and we're gonna paint it all over just making sure that we paint that hot glue that we have on the top because it's a little bit hard sometimes to get it painted but chalk paint always does the trick. So go ahead and give it a good coat, paint it completely, paint both of them if you're making two and let it dry. Then we're gonna take our dried candles and we're gonna bring our white chalk 
paint from Waverly and we're gonna give it a good dry brush all around. And let me show you, I'm using the oldest brush that I have <laughs> to give that dry brush because I couldn't find my new one. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a good dry brush on the glue or wax drips <laughs> and I'm gonna give a good dry brush to the candle itself like this so we can cover it completely and it looks beautiful like an actual candle. So I'm gonna do that to this one and the other one too. And we have them here, let it dry. And I'm taking this canning that I have and I'm gonna cut a piece so I can roll it around my candle like this. And now I'm gonna cut two pieces of those and I'm gonna paint them in black paint. But first I'm gonna cut a piece like this so we can make something cute to handle or a handle. <laughs> and now I'm just gluing them like this, putting one of those clamps over there. And after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the handle and those pieces of canning completely. And I'm painting my handles like that. Then I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move on <laughs> to my canning pieces like this. And I'm gonna paint those and I'm gonna also paint those loops that you see on the corner over there. Let me show you this ones. We're gonna paint those on the inside, outside and sides because we want it to look completely black. So cover it completely on that black paint really well so you have a beautiful handle. <laughs> now I'm gonna take the candle and I'm gonna take that piece that we're gonna wrap around and I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue over here and then I'm gonna glue that piece over there. Let me just add the hot glue. <laughs> and then we're gonna add hot glue all around and just roll it around. I'm sorry, I was out of frame, I didn't know. But I'm gonna roll it around, add a little bit of hot glue over here and just press it down like that. Hold it there until it dries and then bring it back so you can assemble your candle. And for that, we're gonna just hot glue the candle to the round part of the handle like that. And then that cute handle thingy that we made, we're gonna glue it on the back. Just put some clamps over there and bring one skewer so you can make a wick. And for that, I'm just cutting the skewer and then I'm gonna glue it with hot glue like this. And then we're gonna make the flame. And for the flame, I use, I'm using this stencil paper that I got from Walmart. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it like this on a leafy kind of shape like that. And then I'm gonna bring some red and yellow and I'm gonna mix them together so I can make it look like a flame. So I'm adding a little bit of red and then I'm adding lots of yellow that I'm mixing with that red like that to make a beautiful, well, a flame. <laughs> and I'm gonna repeat that too with the other one like that. And then I'm gonna paint the wick that it's not showing on the frame. <laughs> and now that it is painted and dry, I'm gonna glue that flame to our wick and that's it. So cute. And here you can see them together. They are looking beautiful. Let me know in the comments below what you think about those beautiful candles because I think I'm gonna make lots more. <laughs> if you like modern farmhouse bow decor and lots of silly jokes, subscribe because that's what I do here. And hit the thumbs up and share this video with a friend because that really helps to support my channel. Also, go and check me out on my social media so we can be friends over there and have lots and lots of fun together. DIY number three and we're gonna make a beautiful wood round sign. And I'm using this wood round that I got from Amazon and white Waverly chalk paint. I'm gonna cover that wood round completely with that chalk paint, just giving it a thin, good coat. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take this stencil that I made on my Cricut and what I'm doing is I'm just sticking it over there, as you can see, so we can make beautiful trees. And I wanted to show you that this is a word or design that's been around a long time, but I just reimagine it. I just cut it in pieces and make it something different. Now I'm gonna take different types of green, like this leaf green, um, that one was, wow, <laughs> celery from Waverly and this one. And I'm just gonna start 
painting my trees and for that I'm using a sponge brush. The back ones I painted them on the leaf green that I had. And then I used the celery for the bigger front ones and also the other lime kind of green just to divide, divide <laughs> our trees so we have dimension on our picture. So I'm gonna do that and now I'm gonna use the celery to paint them, the other ones. And after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the same colors just to mix them so we can get a little bit dimension on our trees. And for that, I'm just using the same colors like this and just sponging them on our trees like that. Then I'm gonna repeat the same with the other tree and that will be it for the trees. We need to paint the stumps. <laughs> so I'm just gonna sponge the colors like that, just mixing them, making them look beautiful like this because this gives a lot of dimension to your picture. Now I'm gonna take hazelnut and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint those tree stump, the st stumps. <laughs> tree stumps <laughs> and after that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the stencil and then I'm gonna come back with my words and we have fresh first and as you can see I'm just adding it like this and then we have farm and I added the farm <laughs> and now I'm just adding the part that says Christmas trees and I know you have seen this image a uh, lots of times but I decided to cut it out and make it my own. So what I'm doing is I'm just removing my transfer tape like this. And after I remove my transfer tape, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the excess that it's hanging on the sides like this and that's it. Look at this, so beautiful. I just love it because it's a lot different than what I have seen. Let me know what you think about this one and if you're gonna make it or not. I'm gonna make a couple more of those. <laughs> and now you can see all of them together once more and I'm in love with today's projects. I just love to make my Christmas decor a little bit ahead and this gave me the perfect opportunity to just jump into those projects and make a couple of Christmas decor. Remember that this is part of a hop and you will find the link to the next creator and also the link to our beautiful hosts, Jani and Diane from Deco Easy in the description box down below. And go ahead and leave me a comment and comment in all of the videos of this awesome hop. Remember that if you like modern farmhouse, boho decor, and lots of silly jokes, and to see me struggle with my words, <laughs> subscribe because that's what I do here, and hit the thumbs up and share this video with a friend because that really helps to support my channel. It makes YouTube notice my channel, and that's awesome. And remember that if you like this one, hit the thumbs up. If you love it, subscribe so you can keep on watching this and some other videos with seasonal decor. <laughs> Take care, my beautiful friends. Bye-bye.